Now wide open is Duchesne. Down the middle. Backhand score! A beautiful goal. Matt Duchesne. Well, Matt, you guys come into Toronto on a bit of a roll now. Um, won five of your last six games. Uh, only, I think, one regulation loss in your last ten. Why are things uh, going so well right now for you guys? Yeah, I think um, our offense has been the biggest thing. I think we got, we've got that rolling right now, and our game's just better right now offensively, and uh, you got to score in this league now. I mean, you can't win those 2-1 games and rely on, on we can with a guy like UC Saros in net, but uh, um, you don't want to be trying to win those games every night. It's a different league now than it was when I came, uh, when I first started, and, um, you know, it's, it's skilled, it's fast, it's offensive, so uh, you got to have that, that well-rounded attack, so I'd point to that for sure. You had a nice uh, five-game point streak going on in December until you missed a game for the best of reasons, the December 27th. Yeah, that's right. You and your wife, Ashley, welcomed your third child, daughter, Ellie. Yeah. What's the Duchesne household been like since then? Yeah, it's uh, it's been awesome. Our new baby, Ellie, has been unbelievable. She's uh, she's sleeping really well and uh, for the most part. And, and uh, you know, she's just, I was telling you earlier, she only cries when you change her diaper. And uh, <laughs> most of the time, you don't even know she's there. So I, I think we're done at three, but just so, super blessed. And my wife's a rock star. I don't know how she does it. It's uh, it's incredible. So she's. I'm very blessed to have her as a, as a wife and a mother of my kids. Your hockey sticks have always kind of told the story of your life. Can, can you share with us what you've got written on your sticks right yeah, now? Yeah, yeah. Um, I started back in junior. I remember uh, my last year I, I wrote, I started writing like song lyrics on my stick and I was like kind of stuck with me in it. So right now I have some initials just for like some friends and family back home, like kind of our group. Okay. Um, I have FNL 16, which means free and loose 16. Like I play, basically remind me to play like I did when I was 16 years old. And then um, I have uh, my kids' names on the stick. And then I have uh, my favorite Bible verse and a cross there, obviously. So I kind of, after the anthem, I go through all of that and it kind of puts me in the right headspace. And I think it just makes me feel, again, like gratitude and grateful. It makes me just enjoy what I'm doing. And I'm, I'm just so grateful to do this. And I know I only get to do it for so long. You know, I kind of have a target date of when I would call it um, or try to play till um, in terms of age. Um, you do? You already have in your mind? Well, I, I've always wanted to be, I always have really admired guys that play at 40 years old. Ah. So that's my goal. I've never said that in public before. So I uh, say, uh, we got yeah. a scoop yeah, here today, go. folks. Yeah, no, I'd love to play along. Yeah. I'd love to play along 40. I, like I said, I've always admired guys that play at that age. I just think it, it really shows the dedication people uh, put into the game. You got a birthday coming up next week, don't you? Yep. Big. Three, two. Three, two, yeah. Thirty-two that years sounds old. awful. Wow. Sounds awful. Uh, yeah. Trust me from where I sit, it doesn't sound that <laughs> awful. How has hockey changed in your mind since uh, when you broke in? Uh, the brand of hockey we got right now is 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 great. I think some of that old school stuff, like, you know, a lot of these young kids come in and, you know, Instagram and YouTube has yep. a huge, uh, you know, kind of impact, uh, impact on what they yes, want to do, right? Impact is what I was looking for, yeah. yeah. Which is good and bad at times. <laughs> so I, you know, I like the balance of it. You know, we don't want to be all trying the Michigan six times a game. And Have you I think ever tried the Michigan? I did it when I was 14 in you a did. minor hockey game. It and worked. Yeah, I, okay. I, yeah, Sid did it back in the day, and everybody <laughs> wanted. So we were. It was the last game of the season. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna try it, and it worked. And I did it then. I was like, okay, I never need to try it again. Okay, so, yeah, that yeah. was it. If it if it came up at some point, maybe. But um, no. Could you it's, ever imagine trying it when you were in Columbus with John Tortorella <laughs> behind the bench? <laughs> Honestly, I don't think he would have been as bad with it as uh, as people might have thought. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, he's. He, he, no, yeah, he would have been. I, if, I mean, if it worked, would have been. He wouldn't have yeah. said anything. If it didn't, he might have maybe yeah. looked at me funny, but. <laughs> Um, no, it, it wouldn't have been that bad, but uh, yeah, I think I think today's game, I mean, it's definitely gone more that way. You see so many of the things these kids can do, it's incredible, and yeah, it's a young man's game now. I want to be the old guy that feels like the young guy in the young man's game. That's my goal. <laughs> well, it certainly uh, served you well so far, and I appreciate your time here with us today, and good luck the rest of the season. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me.